Hello, today I will be going over Cameron's top recommended cars and trucks for 2013. All of the cars and trucks I have been inside in and I have based my top choices over build quality, reliability, resale value, driving dynamics, price, features, and comfort. The categories of cars are going to be subcompact, compact, mid-size sedan, full-size sedan, full-size truck, mid-size truck, minivan, full-size SUV, small SUV, luxury SUV, sports car, entry-level luxury sedan, and last but not least, the mid-size luxury sedan. The first award goes to the 2013 Ford F-150 and the full-size truck class. The Ford F-150 has been the best-selling full-size truck for years with very good towing capabilities and great fuel economy. It's very hard to beat the F-150 and no wonder why it's this, uh, such a strong seller. For 2013, the F-150 gets a heavily refreshed exterior and interior for the higher-end trim levels and new features include HID headlights, upgraded materials on the interior, and the My4 Touch system. I expect the F-150 to remain a top seller for years to come. The next award goes to the 2013 Toyota Tacoma in the mid-size truck class. The Toyota Tacoma is a very great truck with powerful, fuel-efficient powertrains and a wide variety of body styles and trims as well as impressive build quality with great reliability and resale value. The Tacoma's main competitors are the Chevy Colorado, GMC Canyon, and the Nissan Frontier, but they don't match the Tacoma's interior and just the overall package that the Tacoma has, and this is why the Tacoma is Cameron's cop recommended midsize truck for 2013. The next award goes to the 2013 Honda Accord and the mid-size sedan class. The Honda Accord is in a very competitive class and for 2013 the Accord is Cameron's top recommended mid-size sedan. And I'll tell you why. The Accord has been head-to-head -head with the Toyota Camry in previous years, but in the last few years, upcomers like the Hyundai Sonata and Kia Optima have almost reached their boundaries. But the 2013 Accord is raising the bar again with a better high-quality interior with excellent materials and a boatload of new technologies like lane departure warning and Honda's very own lane watch system, as well as Honda's first LED headlamps, which are not even seen in this class. Oh, and did I forget to mention, on top of that comes superb reliability and resale value? The next award goes to the 2013 Cadillac ATS and the entry-level luxury sedan class. For 2013, Cadillac has introduced an all-new model for the entry-level luxury sedan class the Cadillac ATS. Its main competitor is the BMW 3 Series. Now, some may like the prestigious name of BMW, but the ATS is an overall better package. The interior is also way better than the 3 Series, as the ATS tends to accomplish that with their all-new Q interface, which is a very user-friendly interface. The ATS is also slightly cheaper than the 3 Series, as the BMW can get very pricey when loaded with options. The ATS also handles like the 3 Series, which is the most important factor if Cadillac is really trying to make it compete with the 3 Series. This is why the ATS wins the entry-level luxury sedan class. It offers the spirited handling and driving dynamics of a 3 Series, but it offers even more. The next award goes to the 2013 Cadillac XTS in the mid-size luxury sedan class.
Cadillac is back on the grind these days, and it's evident with the all-new ATS for 2013, and then this one, the all-new XTS. The XTS is a new replacement of the DTS and the STS. As sales were lagging, the design was very outdated, but all of that has changed now with the XTS. The interior is very accommodating with very nice supportive leather seats that have a little sporty feel to it and the new Q interface is also very user friendly. The main competitors are the Lexus ES and Infiniti M, however the new ES was closely tied between the XTS, but I felt that the XTS had better technologies and more luxury features. I expect the XTS to be a better seller than the DTS and STS combined in the near future. The next award goes to the 2013 Nissan 370Z in the sports car class. The Nissan 370Z is a very great sports car, all at a bargain price for what you get. The 370Z is slightly updated for 2013 and the most notable feature on the exterior is the new LED daytime running lights. This car is very fast, also with about 300 horses on tap, no one should be disappointed. Many cars will cost you an arm and a leg to get that much, but the 370Z starts at a good price of around $30,000, and pound for pound, it's one of the best sports cars you can buy out there. The next award goes to the 2013 Ford Explorer in the full-size SUV market. The 2013 Ford Explorer is a strong candidate in the full-size SUV class. The Explorer has a very upscale cabin that the competitors can't match with the soft touch materials and nice stitched surfaces. The Explorer also has solid on-road di driving dynamics that are better than some other full-size SUVs. Technology is also great in the Explorer with the My Ford Touch system that looks very modern and the active park assist. Powertrains are also very efficient and strong. The Floor Explorer might not be on a truck platform anymore, but however, it still remains a strong winner. The next award goes to the 2013 Toyota Avalon in the full-size sedan class. The Avalon was redesigned last in 2005, and it's very surprising that Toyota was able to keep up the Avalon in a staggering 8 years, but for 2013, the Avalon is redesigned. A new dynamic look makes an appearance onto the new Avalon, and it's more aggressive than ever, and it doesn't really have that boring look to it anymore. Ride and handling are also not floaty bo boaty anymore, how it used to be. Although, some elements do show up of it, but the ride is now more engaging than ever, and it's more composed. On the interior, everything feels well put together, and there's many stitched surfaces as well. All in all, this is why I chose the Avalon for the full-size sedan class. And, it, on top of that, it does have great reliability and superb resale value. For 2013, the Honda Odyssey wins for the minivan class. The Honda Odyssey really made it as the top seller in the U.S. in 1999 when the second generation Odyssey came out. However, the Odyssey still has those ingredients that still make it one of the best minivans you can buy. The styling on the exterior is not usual as it has a very striking belt line that makes it have a lightning strike appearance to it. The Odyssey's main ingredients it has is its very agile handling that no other minivan can match, its strong potent V6, and its very roomy minivan interior. As with all Hondas, superb resale value and reliability play a huge role, and this is why the Honda Odyssey wins for the minivan market for 2013. The next award goes to the 2013 Honda Civic and the Compact class. The 
The Honda Civic is one of the best compact cars you can buy, and these are the reasons why. For 2013, the Civic gets a slightly refreshed exterior and interior, as the 2012 model disappointed so many people and car reviewers. That has changed for 2013, and the improvements are evident when it comes to the nice stitching and composed ride and handling that the Civic has, as it didn't have it in the 2012 model year. There's also so many powertrains you can get, and all of them are very fuel efficient and very reliable. Styling also takes some cues from the last generation Civic. All in all, the Civic should remain a top seller for years to come. The next award goes to one of my personal favorites, the Toyota RAV4. The Toyota RAV4 gets completely redesigned for 2013. It was a super close tie between the CRV and the RAV4, but the RAV4 won because it had more attention to detail inside the cabin. The V6 will be missed though, but however, it still remains pretty powerful and fuel efficient. The interior of the new RAV4 is also quite nice, and everything is ergonomically correct. New safety technologies include blind spot monitoring and a backup camera with rear cross traffic alert. All in all, the RAV4 is a huge improvement over the last generation and it should sell even better than it did before. The next award goes to the Honda Fit and the Subcompact class. For 2013, the Honda Fit wins the subcompact class because of its very versatile interior and excellent cargo room that the rivals just can't match. Also, the Fit has an electric variant, which is good for the people who are trying to save the earth and be eco-friendly. Reliability and resale value also play a major role in the Fit, and this is why I chose the Fit in the subcompact class. Last but not least... The next award goes to the 2013 Mercedes GL and the Luxury SUV class. For 2013, the Mercedes GL is completely redesigned, and Mercedes has done a good job at doing it. The GL is a very comfortable luxury SUV that sits 7, and it's good for anybody who just loves luxury cars. The cabin just screams luxury with the nice stitch surfaces and great material quality that some rivals just can't come up to par with. The V8 is also very quick at acceleration and is very, very fuel efficient with the diesel option. All in all, great luxury SUV from Mercedes. And thank you for checking out Cameron's Top Recommended Cars for 2013. If you have any questions on this Top Recommended Cars for 2013, please let me know. Remember, this is Cameron's Car Reviews, Car Buying Made Easy.